the first and second programs are uh, finders algorithm and candidate elimination algorithm both of which are concept learning tasks so concept learning uh, in many learning problems uh, the task is to require the categorization true or false yes or no for example if the picture represents the letter a or does the picture have elvis presley in it or not and for this kind of tasks we can use uh, concept learning uh, suppose we want to learn on which days does uh, al enjoy his favorite sports we have uh, things like uh, sky temperature humidity wind speed forecast whether he likes the sport or not based on the instances we are supposed to do a search in terms of finding the most uh, specific uh, hypothesis um, so one of the algorithms that we're going to use is can uh, find this algorithm first uh, so what do we mean by a specific uh, hypothesis so in h1 and h2 uh, h2 two is more specific than so h1 is more specific than h2 because uh, we have more number of attributes which we know for sure to determine the outcome uh, however in h2 we only have one attribute that determines whether or not like the person will enjoy the sport or not so the algorithm for uh, finders algorithm finders is uh, like this so we initialize h to the most specific hypothesis and then for each positive training instance in x which is going to be our data set uh, for each attribute that is in h i i in h if the constraint i in h is satisfied by x then do nothing or else we replace i in h by the next more general constraint that is satisfied by x and then we give out the output hypothesis this will be more evident once we implement the program uh, so let's go ahead and start implementing it so the first thing that we want to do is uh, import csv this will be the only dependency that we are going to use so this should uh, run without any errors after that we'll try and open uh, the file which we want so i'm going to create an empty list a uh, i'm going to append all the document into this so with open data.csv as cs file reader equals csv dot reader so csv comes with a built in method called reader which takes the argument the file pointer cs file which we have declared in the previous line for row in reader a dot append row so in this line we are appending each and every uh, instance in the data to our uh, variable a uh, just to make sure it's happening smoothly let's just print each row this is optional uh, let's see if this runs so so make sure before you run this make sure in your file structure you have the data.csv file or like finders.csv file whichever the file you want to open make sure it's there in the file structure so here you can see this is the file uh, and if you open it uh, these are the attributes in it so the same thing is being read in our program so i need to know the number of attributes in our data set so as you can see we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 plus 1 so we have uh, seven entries in each row but uh, as you know the last one is the decision whether or not the person will enjoy the sport however we require only the first six one so i'm going to create another variable called uh, num attributes which is going to be len of a of 0 which is basically the first instance in our uh, data so which is this and we're going to subtract one from it because we don't want the uh, output so this is going to give us a number of attributes so once we are done with that well, we need to initialize the most uh, generic hypothesis and the most uh, specific hypothesis so i'm going to print them out actually uh, i'll just initialize uh, gener generic hypothesis equals to question mark times number of attributes and uh, specific hypothesis equals uh, since we can't really uh, represent uh, phi so easily i'm going to use zero zero times number of 
attributes so generic hypothesis and specific hypothesis are going to be returned as lists which are of the size number of attributes so basically they have uh, number of attributes uh, of question mark and number of attributes of zeros in the list so i'm going to print uh, the most generic hypothesis is represented by um, generic hypothesis and in the same way just copy paste this So we can see that uh, we have the generic hypothesis which is represented by uh, n question marks which is 6 question marks in this case and uh, 6 zeros which is our most specific hypothesis. So let's look back at the algorithm before we start implementing the code. So quick re recap on what we have done. We imported CSV, we created an empty list A. To For each of the line in the reader we have appended uh, the particular instance to our list A. Uh, we have calculated the number of attributes as the in the first instance minus 1 because we only need these many as a number of attributes. So we've got the number of attributes. Uh, we've also printed the more generic hypothesis and the more specific hypothesis. So looking back at the algorithm it says for we are supposed to iter iterate uh, every instance uh, in A and then see if the constraint is satisfied by X that means if it is true do nothing else replace A in H by the next more general constraint that is satisfied and before that we need to uh, initialize H to the more specific hypothesis in H so yeah sorry so hypothesis hypothesis equals the So the hypothesis equals the most specific hypothesis, which is um, specific. So after that, we are going to uh, print a statement just to say that we are uh, doing finders. So now we are going to iterate through our uh, data set. So that means uh, in the range of number of instances in A which is our data set if A of i the particular instance of i and uh, the last column uh, you could either use minus 1 which is like indexing it from the end or you can just specify num attributes both should work the same equals yes so if you are seeing if it's a positive instance or not uh, so before this we we are going to initialize hypothesis to the first first element in a so a of 0 Yeah, so basically what we are doing is to see if the first hypothesis is yes and then we are uh, initializing hypothesis to that particular instance and if it is uh, we are going to only we are only concerned with the positive instances in finders so if it's yes we are going to iterate again in the number of variables and compare each and every variable if j in range of number of attributes if a of i j is not equals hypothesis of j so if it is not matching if the hypothesis are not same uh, if there is a conflicting hypothesis we update it to make it more generic so we replace that particular instance in the hypothesis to be a question mark so hypothesis of j equals question mark uh, and we can just print
so we are printing in each each and every iteration what is the current hypothesis and at the end if you want you could print the maximally specific hypothesis i'm just going to do that Yeah, so we are finding the maximum specific hypothesis. So in the first iteration, we initialize hypothesis to be the first uh, attribute in our data set. Then we see uh, in the second uh, time when there is a positive instance. So we notice that there is a fluctuation in here from normal to high. So we, we update it with a question mark and so on. We follow through all the iterations to end up with the most specific, uh, most specific hypothesis, which is this. So the same thing is printed here. So that's it for Finders algorithm.